Hey, Star Trek fans, welcome to another episode of the Star Trek News Desk. Let's get right to the top stories from the past month. Last month, I reported on another delay for Star Trek Discovery, and we learned that the premiere would happen at an undetermined time in the future. While we still don't have a definite premiere date, we have learned today from CBS head honcho Les Moonves that the network is aiming for a late summer, early fall release. So we can look for Discovery to premiere sometime in August or September, potentially. As reported a few weeks ago, three new cast members have been revealed for the new Trek series. Terry Serpico plays Admiral Henderson, Malik Pancholi will star as Dr. Nambu, Chief Medical Officer of the USS Shenzhou, and relative newcomer Sam Vartholomios will play Ensign Connor, also aboard the Shenzhou. It hasn't yet been revealed what role the Shenzhou plays in the overall story of Star Trek Discovery, but I will of course bring you any news on that front as it becomes available. Also revealed earlier this month was this leaked photo of some odd-looking aliens, supposedly Klingons, in Star Trek Discovery. They definitely look a lot different from the Klingons we are used to, and no explanation has yet been offered. There are tons of fan theories out there, of course, and many of them revolve around that concept art we found out about a few months back, labeled Klingon Sarcophagus Ship. Some clues, perhaps, to the story of Star Trek Discovery? Like you, I look forward to finding out. In January's news video, I reported that Star Trek Beyond had been nominated for an Oscar in the category of Best Makeup. However, sadly, the latest Star Trek film lost in that category to Suicide Squad. I'll leave it to you to decide if that decision was fair or not. A while back, I reported on a new Deep Space Nine documentary in the works entitled What We Left Behind. In the past month, the team behind that documentary has launched a crowdfunding campaign, and it has proven to be a wild success. They have surpassed $250,000 in their fundraising. I'll have a link in the description to the crowdfunding page below. I'm really excited about this documentary. One of the features of the documentary will be a reunion of the Deep Space Nine writers, in which they will sit down and plan a hypothetical Season 8 of Deep Space Nine. La La Land, a record company who has released many special editions of Star Trek soundtracks over the past few years, has announced the track listing for their new Star Trek Voyager collection. The four-disc set includes themes from a number of fan-favorite episodes. I'll have a link to the story on trekcore.com that has the full track listing. Suffice it to say, if you are a fan of Voyager or even just the music in Voyager, you will want to pick up this collection. The release date for the set is the end of February, so you should be able to get your hands on it now. La La Land has also provided its schedule for Star Trek releases over the rest of 2017 and into 2018, at which time it seems that they will be leaving Star Trek behind. But before then, we will get more Star Trek Voyager music, a second set of Deep Space Nine music, as well as an in-the-works leftover set projected for release sometime in 2018. This collection will contain more Next Generation Deep Space Nine Voyager and Enterprise scores into a new four-disc set. This does look to be their final scheduled Star Trek release, but the company does not rule out future projects centering around Star Trek. Well, that's all from the Star Trek News Desk for now. However, I will be standing by to bring you any more breaking news that comes along until the next episode. And if you have a Star Trek news tip, comment below or tweet to me at Kurtrats, that's K-E-R-T-R-E-T-S, or post on the Facebook page at facebook.com slash Productions. I'll have links to all of my social media in the description below. If you have a comment on anything I've mentioned here, please don't hesitate to post your thoughts in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you here again soon.